Hello everybody, this is Nighthawk, and in this video, we're going to be playing Life is Strange. It's another episodic game. It's pretty. The story is very, very rich. I played the first episode, and I can already say, I love it. It is a very, very fun game to play. Eh. Like I said, it's another episodic game, just like all the games that Telltale makes. But I like this a lot better, and... The mechanics are a lot better than Telltale. I'll also say that the the environment and the atmosphere is too. It's got a good atmosphere. I'll say that it's really um really full. It's all like everything is still like living, you know. You're in the halls of the high school, and there's tons and tons of inter interaction and everything going on. I can't talk. I'm sorry, but let's jump into this game and see what it has in store for us, shall we? Why do I say that? Okay. <laughs> Life is Strange is a story-based game that features player choice. The consequences of all your in-game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. The past? Okay. Sleeping in a storm, girl. It's not good. It's dangerous. I don't know what that storm is. It could just be a thunderstorm. But still. And she is closer to the ground, so she won't be struck by the Same questions to us. Wait, there's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. This storm looks extreme, and uh, I wouldn't move to a structure like that if this is a major catastrophic. Whatever. Storm. Yeah, I wouldn't be next to a structure like that with that there. Holy crap, that's just Psycho. Crap. Holy shit. Now you see it? Surreal. Wow. Film little pieces of time. But he could be no talking danger. about photography, as he likely was. Okay. I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, Typical high school. Can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black I didn't and white? fall asleep, and that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why well, that's a retro camera. Is because like of her an images of one? faces. Does she like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad out. mothers and children? She ah, saw humanity as tortured, come right? Come right? Look at this crap. This mechanic stuff. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? It's not I that bad. I can hear the class laughing at me now. That's okay. So you don't need to be ashamed. And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Language. Seriously, though, I could frame You're any one of you teacher, in a dark bud. corner. My little camera bag is battered, but still kicking. And any one of you could do that to me. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? I'm reading a high school girl's journal. Okay. I accepted into Blackwell Academy. I'm going to flip through these so you guys can read. And maybe we can overview. So she got accepted into the academy that she really wanted to go to. She's, she lived in Seattle. Oh, that's a great hipster deer. <laughs> oh, because it has the best photography programs. Moved to Arcadia Bay. Little small town. 
have though. This is artistic. Creative. Homework is hard. Finally has a chance. So she's 18 years old. Must be a senior then. She's in high school. Okay. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? I do love my analog camera. I should take a quick picture now. In class? She had a brilliant eye. Okay, then. So, she should have <laughs> taken another approach. I have to admit. Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Well, this is <laughs> not a very good answer. <laughs> it's a question, not really an answer, but um, I... I did know? I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. <coughs> Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. You mean the Daguerrean <laughs> process brought That's out so fine detail in people's faces making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. I can't believe I still have you this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. Even... But I like it old school. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. <sighs> um, Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. You're submitting your photo for the competition. Does she like him? That's... He's turning in a photo, wow. so... You see what I'm doing? I know, Mr. Jefferson. I just worked so hard in the shot, and I'm sure yeah, it is. you know what cool. it's like to be consumed. I kind of like those direct shot camera I just cameras. Really think every I used to have one. Is an important cultural event, and I want to represent Blackwell Academy. You have just by participating, by putting yourself. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson. Can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I didn't have any time. Way too much homework. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. He has a point, and I don't think we're gonna become good friends. Yet, yeah, no, I don't like her. Holy crap, you have that as a class monitor? Really? Really? Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. I mean, I, I have a. Wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. I mean, I have an ultra wide curved monitor. Samsung and the thing's really nice. It's worth six hundred dollars, but I mean that for a class monitor That's impressive Do I need to hand it in though? Uh, guess not. You didn't tell me how cute didn't I looked yet. I was about to you you Welcome to the real world Hot. Then I might send you a special picture 
Max wants everybody to see how good she is. And she plays it so sharp. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class. It's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a frowny face. Don't nod. They're, um, based in Paris. That's where they're from. Oh, wait. I think this is copyrighted. I need to talk over this. I can't take any chances. Hello, guys. I need to drown this out. So, blah, 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 blah. I just have to blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah. This is, um, I like the game so far. Well, I mean, I played the first episode. So I know. It's pretty good. Bullies. Typical. Uh... Let's go in. Okay, come on. Come on. Don't talk. Stop talking. Stop, talk. Stop saying games. <laughs> Nobody can see my meltdown. Okay. Except for me. See, even that. That was cool. Okay. The all seeing eyes in the bathroom. Yeah. Does that Just actually relax. Help? Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. Well, that doesn't help you at all. Now does it? Butterfly. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. That's illegal. I'm I guess I have to. This is based in 2013 though. So they obviously have digital cameras. I guess she just prefers the retro What the? Why are you in here? This is the women's bathroom. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You you're okay, bro. Just Come to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, like poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? Wow. What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Oh, jeez. Wow. Whoa. What the fuck? How? How can that be? She's a human time I was machine. In the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. It's getting interesting now. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now, oh, shit. can you give me an example of a Man, photographer? I cannot believe who this. Captured the human condition in black and white. Uh -oh. Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria, why Arvis? Cool. Oh wow! I did now. it. Can you give I me actually an did it. A photographer who perfectly I'm captured a human, the human time machine. Black and white. Yeah. Anybody? Max, Bueller? don't freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. 
Why Arvis? Because of her Keep image. Keep it together, Max. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and When children. I took my selfie, Jefferson She's asked me a question. Tortured, right? If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Man. Keep that to it's yourself. Pretty. Seriously, yeah. though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. Shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming this. You all know it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl selfie. isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can I save her? Portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? Um... We don't have to go I'm sorry, yet. but I really have to use the bathroom. But nice whatever. try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me you after class. And I need time to save that girl. Types? A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind the again process, and give him the right answer? Fine detail in people's fate. Okay. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process. The Daguerrean process. Invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. <sighs> the Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular. Mainly because it gave the subjects powers. clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Join the contest. Yes. Yeah. Victoria, you still have to do your homework. This week. Even if um, you're submitting your photo for the, the competition, so. everybody in class is turning in a photo. To be so. early than late. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson. Can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars of. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Do I need to? Fine. your photo for the competition everybody in class is turning in a photo so you see the dilemma okay. excuse me mr jefferson can i talk to you or let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture okay i'm on top of it i think john lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans max you're on fire today all the right answers good make sure you finish working on it by today I have faith in you. Okay, so I don't need to hand it in right now. So, all right, we better go make it. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I think we will. I can't tell anybody. Because before we spent more time crazy. looking at inanimate objects in the classroom. So. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I like this game so far. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the 
butterfly flew in, and I took a photo. Still legal. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Oh, wait, fire alarm. What are you doing? Okay, we need to break Come this. Come on, put that thing down. Hammer. Tell me what I need do. a hammer to break it open. All right, all right. Well, well let's, I guess. You are going to get in hell more guess. trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! I need a hammer to break. Holy I shit, I can't it. let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. Wait. You are going to get in hell more trouble for this than drugs. No way. Don't ever touch me again, freak! You saved her. Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. Hey! Do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I had to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. So you find me walking out of there suspicious? Did you just miss that guy, Nathan, who just ran out of the bathroom, out of the girl's bathroom, with a gun? I mean, of course, he could have been hiding the gun, and isn't it a little bit suspicious? Suspicious, that's how I like to say it. But that's pretty suspicious, seeing a guy run out of the girl's bathroom. That's way more suspicious than her doing it. That's her place. That's where... What the heck? You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? <coughs> I'm, I'm just a little worried about my future. Are you sweating pinballs? Is that all you're thinking about? You could always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I can assure you I didn't do anything wrong. I did... The right thing to save someone's life. I'm gonna report him. If I do, he'll probably come after me. But I mean, he's obviously pretty dangerous. He's been in the whole drug business. So, we need to report him and get it over with. I think that's the best action, course of action here. So, let's do it. I just saw Nathan Prescott. Waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott. You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. Obviously. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is... serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell. You're gonna do that to me every time? Should I rewind and change my story? Every time, you just... Are you gonna say that to me every time? This action will have consequences. Don't put that pressure on me. Come on. Makes me feel like I made the wrong decision, but I'm pretty okay with what I did. 
think it was the right decision. They're not lined up in a. They're not lined up. Prescott, please come to the front office. Thank you. Straight on it. Rachel Amber. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. Missing from Arcadia Bay. Five foot five, age nineteen. Okay. Well, I think we're gonna end the episode here. Let's just sit down on the phone. <coughs> this day has been so insane. Everything is happening too fast. And none of it makes any sense. These visions, this power. I keep expecting to wake up one more time. But if this is a dream, then I'm not asleep. Which means somehow I did rewind time. So there has to be a reason. And I have to find out why. Well, thank you for watching this episode and hopefully you will tune in to watch more. I hope you liked it. So, goodbye and see you next time. Adios. Can you give me- oh, wow.